We're going to go into the structure of the dream. Now the categories to talk about structure are six. And we'll go through them classically. And then we'll move over here and have a little fun and explore it on another level. By the structure, I mean how you can talk about part to whole. Now we're going to leave structure in order to get to function because no matter how much you know about the structure of something, it doesn't in itself reveal its function. So first, there's a purpose to dreams and that's to solve something or to resolve it. That presupposes then that the dream focuses on the nature of obstacles for when those obstacles are overcome, then the purpose has been achieved. Every dream has a substance. What's the substance? When you take all the objects It's not nothing, it's something. There are stuff. You can't ask part of it of a person what parts the sufficient or the manifestation of the mind stuff has, because then that's getting back into structure. So the most you can say about the substance is that it's mind stuff. You can't have a dream. It has a form. And the form of a dream we should really put in front of this, or hyphenate it, ego form. Because once you get into a dream, there must be a form of the ego that's represented, and you recognize it, and you say, ah, me. That's your loss of freedom, because from that point on, you then carry out whatever is, in, whatever is contained in that form. What do I mean by that? We mean that every ego is an image, has an image, and every image presupposes a role and the role presupposes the way you're going to function within that image and to that degree in one sense that you are free then to act but in another sense you lose the freedom of of moving in anything other than the restrictions of the original form or the image of the ego everything else in the dream all the arc all the Furniture, as it were, that's what we're calling the objects of a dream. And then, of course, in every dream, there's going to be some mobility or motion or action taking place. And every dream has a goal. It's going towards somewhere. It's complete. And in respect to its goal, in respect to all of these things, it's also, curiously enough, holographic. By that, you can take any part of it. If a person only has one scene in a dream, it's sufficient to then extrapolate the whole. Not to the same depth, but uh, sufficiently so that you can see features of the whole. That's the structure of the dream. That's what we mean by the structure. Formal, that's what it is. Now, when we get a dream, and we look at it and study it, it's very clear that after you've dealt with dreams, there's a certain order and design to them. It shows intelligence. The order and the design takes a particular interesting form, and that form presents to the dreamer not only a dramatic sequence, but a mystery that then becomes a puzzle 
When I, what do I mean by a mystery? I mean it's, it's, it doesn't make sense at first glance. You have to have to work on it. It's not obvious, and therefore it's a mystery. When you then take it on yourself to solve, it's your puzzle to explore the order, design, the mystery, the puzzle of a dream. We must know analogical structures, metaphors, and similes. Then, once we played on those levels in a dream, then we can seek the reference. What is there, each one of these objects? What do they relate to? That gets us on the quest for meaning. That's its application. Ah, once we see that, then we can play with consequences. That's the most important part. <clears throat> but once you take this, you are into function. So structure and function come together. This is the formal way of talking about the structure. And then once you start getting into it to try to discover why, then you're into function. Now, we can do this in general, or we can take an example of it and play with it, all right? Uh, volunteer, anyone has a nice a dream, any kind, that you'd like to offer for reflection? All right. Could you read it and I'll sketch it out? Now, when you have a dream, it's essential, it is essential that you capture the order and the design of it and keep your mind on the order and the design and therefore you have to sketch it out. Why? So that you don't become the problem or the puzzle, it becomes the problem. Therefore, you have to objectify it. You put it out there and that's why I have the chalk and the board. So, all right, thank you first for offering it. Could you read it and I'll put it up on the board. I was at some sort of a party. Okay. At, you're at it. Okay. I was at some sort of a party. Ah, that's good. Yeah. Hold it. Go ahead. It seemed to be primarily women that were there. Who? It seemed primarily to be women that were there. That's what I thought you said. My gosh, I can easily draw a woman out of that. And for some reason, I think it was Sherilyn. I know. S H E. Who was talking? Who was taking me around and introducing me to everyone? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I met this girl, and Sherlyn says that this girl does cosmetology or something like that. And she had her hair pulled back. She said, well, wait a minute. She seemed, I'm not sure, she seemed to Filipino. Um, she had really dark skin. She was very nice. She was telling me where the shop was located at where she worked. She was Caucasian, and Sherlyn starts saying that her friend does cosmetology. Mm -hmm. And the other person looks at Sherlyn and says something under her breath. Like, um, she says that that's her friend? Right, that her friend does cosmetology. The other person, the Caucasian person, looks at Sherilyn and says something under her breath like, please don't start because she's going to start selling. Like, please don't. Hold it. She's going to start selling. selling. And the other girl caught it, or saw it.
find that when you got there? But when we got there, there's nothing on the shelves, and they're having some sort of a closeout sale. And I looked. Uh, just a second. Nothing on shelves. And, and it looked closed. like it was closing out. They're having a closeout sale. Mm-hmm. I looked through the stuff because I really wanted to help her out. I'm picking out all these cute little things that they have. And some of them I can't use, but I figure they're interesting looking. Hold it just for a moment. Okay, you look at these cute things. I can't, some of them I can't use. And you wanted to help her out, but right. some of them you could not use. Right. But I figured, some you could, some you couldn't. Right. Mm -hmm. And I figured um, that they're interesting looking, and it will help her out. One was a small. Oh. One was a small thing for eyebrows or something. And there were some bracelets, but I didn't get those. But everything was small, some small scissors or something. Didn't get those. Um, I came across pinky rings, rings for your pinky. What are they? Pinky rings, rings for your little finger. Accidentally. Yes. It was, it was during the end, and there were three of them. One was gold, one was kind of made of glass, and one was silver. I kept trying them on. Not brass, it's glass. Mm -hmm. Not brass, it's glass. Gee. I like that. Thank you. Finally, I decided on the silver one because I like silver, but on the silver one, there were some figures or patterns that looked like they were Greek, so I picked that one. And when I was getting ready to pay for everything, I realized that I left my wallet back in my car. So I told them what I had done, and I said, I need to go get my wallet. Mm -hmm. I think I said something also like, if it wasn't for this girl, I wouldn't be here, giving her credit, letting them know that we were at a party, and she was still working even though she was at a party. Okay. Read that again? Good job. Good. I think I said something also like, if it wasn't for this girl, I wouldn't be here. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Giving her credit, letting them know that we were at a party, and yet she was still working even though she was at a party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's so, it? Yeah, go ahead. It's almost done. So as I'm running back to the car, I think a piece of my Hold it. I like trying cars. Okay. I think a piece of my hair flies out and it really surprises me that I try to tuck it under 
I had a hat on or something. I, a piece of your hair? I flew out. There it goes. And I looked down at my pinky where the ring was at. And instead of it just being silver, it was turning this beautiful blue. What, what color? Blue. 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 Which is what they normally do, yeah. And on the way to the car, there, were, there was a line of old people standing in line for something. We have we have a uh, order, a story, a certain kind of drama. Now you have to look at it, and you have to look at it in such a way to see whether or not there's a problem here, or whether it's totally obvious, and you understand the whole thing as a story, as a story. So that if this were filmed and you saw it, it wouldn't cause you any concern at all. As an example, would you agree she meets a, some uh, women and one of them is her friend and she takes her around and introduces her? That's perfectly understandable. Right? It would make sense, wouldn't it? It obeys normal conventions. So step one, no particular drama, no mystery, nothing to puzzle over. She takes you around and introduces you to this one woman. She does cosmopology or something like that. Dark skin, something like perhaps a Filipino. And she told you where she works. Is there any particular thing to concern yourself with that? Or would you say that's just a natural story? There's nothing to worry about? No. So therefore we can say that's part two. Right? And this other woman comes, Caucasian, and she says, hey, under her breath, she's going to start selling. Perfectly legitimate, remarked me. And she caught it, said nothing. Anything unusual? She heard the remark. Because this remark was made under her breath. Mm -hmm. She's going to start selling. It was said, as it were, under her breath. The other person caught it and said nothing. Her. happens all the time then you uh, well, she's going to show you where the store is showed you where the store is it's growing appears to be growing out of business stores can go out of business anything unusual well but her expectation is quite different from what she finds so that's it's... certainly true mm -hmm. right so we'll note that We'll note that, uh, that her expectation was different. We can accept that. But does it cause you any particular anguish or concern or puzzle? Just there's, there's a difference. Good, good, good. I wanted to help her out. She saw some things that were cute. They were interesting looking. And the thought is it would help her out. And matter of fact, some she could use. Could you film this and find nothing unusual about this so far? Hi. Well, didn't she say that it was a, it was a prosperous area and you thought it was a prosperous area, but then it looked like it was going out of business? That was the image I had at the store. I said I thought it was growing. 
Oh, but it, it but you, I thought you said you thought that. Plus, it was the whole area was like that, and then no, I just said it on the stores. I thought that it was tall. Oh. Yeah. What was the point that was that you just made? That my image that I have a store with that it was a thriving business, but when I got there, it, yeah. the shelves were empty. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. And she looks and she sees these straw three rings with a small finger. Right? Gold, glass, and silver. She picks the silver one. It happens to have Greek figures on it. Oh, she discovers she doesn't have her wallet. Needs to get it. Right? And uh, reflects that it wasn't for the girl. <clears throat> Bringing this up, she, she wouldn't be there. She wouldn't be able to get it. And so she runs back to the car. Right, notices the color changes, and she sees a group of older people, or old people, next to her car, and she pursues to get her wallet. Yeah. Well, how, how she, she left with the ring before she paid for it, though? Was that the same ring you saw? So she left the store with the ring she paid for? Right. I had other things there. Pardon me? I had other things there also. But I yeah, I had other things there. That we get to pay for. At the calendar, I Yeah, but you're going to go back and pay for them all? Right. The point doing. that's being raised is, however, you did get away with one. Right. Is that, <laughs> does that play any role in the dream? No. <coughs> yes. Does that, are you aware no. of that in the dream? No, there's no sense like I'm stealing it or anything. Yeah, okay. All right, so we'll stay within the conditions of the dream right now. So, obviously, this was a mistake, and we're not going to find any puzzle or meaning in this dream. Uh, I think that ring turning blue was an interesting deviation. I mean, I had questions about that. Unless it was a ring that turns blue, unless you <coughs> <laughs> That is an anomaly. That's, that's right. An anomaly. Yeah. That's, that's what we're collecting, right? Anomaly. That's what we're collecting. What do you do with those old people? Yeah, that's <laughs> There can be old people around. Yeah, there should be, but it doesn't fit this story. Well, uh, let's see. You just went to the car and there are a group of old people in a line, waiting in yeah, a line. Yeah, I'm running towards my car and I see them in the line on my right hand side. No. Line what? They're, they're lined up for something. I don't know what. You don't know what's for them. No. no. Where's but the car? It, it doesn't block you in any way. No. No. Okay, we said, did we not, there are three things you have to have when you study dreams. What are they? An image, right? self-image, some action, and something said, a like kind of a logos or a content. And this image must include a kind of state of mind, how the person feels, all right, must include that in their image. So, um, as an example, this dream could be described in such a way as you could say that you were in a state of anxiety, some kind of anxiety through the whole thing, All right. or fear. So, I presume none of that was in the dream, is that correct? All right, look here. One, two, uh, three showed you this, right? We're going to take you to the store. You were at the store. Four. Uh, wanted to help you look over the things. Five. The exchange with the rings. Running back to the car. Seven. Eight. Nine. Um, if we have a, a way of representing states of mind, are they all, this is Nothing particularly interesting or not interesting. Just normal, average, neither up nor down. Where would you put one, two, three? Where would you put one? One would be at the line. Two one? Be two, please? At the line. Three? Up. How much? A lot. Hmm? A lot. Hmm. How? What state of mind is there? Um, I would say wounded because the comment wasn't about the 
she was in a cell, but it was the fact that her skin was dark. Say it again. Her, the woman, her comment was not based on the fact that she didn't want her selling. It was that her skin was dark. This girl had dark skin. Oh, and therefore, what's the point that she's making? It was derogatory. Oh, then it's a negative state. Negative. Okay, I'll put it down here then, all right? right? As negative and positive. And so that's not a three. That's that's the first one. That's the way that we'll call it. It's all right. We just call it two B. Oh. <laughs> all right. It's going to show you the store. You go to the store. See, the other girl was in an open state, friendly, real bubbly. Which one? The dark skin girl. No. Yeah, okay. The one that was involved with cosmetology. Open. Bubble. Okay, good. All right. She's going to show you where the store is. Right. You go ahead. You had an expectation. Right. It turned out not to be the case. It was a closeout sale. Right. Would you tell me where to put four? It's, a, it's down. Where three is or no, two not B? Quite where three is. Huh? It's below one and two, but above three. Okay. Um, three is going to show you where the business is? Oh, what's that 2B? I'm sorry. That's 2B. Above 2B, but below 1 and 2. Okay. And 4? No, where's 3? Where's 3? I'm sorry. Show me, show show me where, where your store is. It's going to show you where your st the store is. It's still down by 2B because I felt really bad for it. I said it again to, to get to like okay. change the subject. It's your dream now. Yeah, okay. That's perfectly all right. And 4? By two and three, two B, four, like that. Thank you. All right, the business is failing or something. Okay, you wanted to help her out. Right. And you're looking over some things that are on sale, right? It would uh, help her out. Okay, five. Where do you put that? Six, you're looking at the rings. And you try one on. Uh, you try them on you and you uh, like the silver one. Discover the Greek figures on it. That's good. Seven, you discover, oh my gosh, no wallet. Pardon? That was a surprise. That's a real surprise. surprise. Positive, negative. It's positive, but it's surprise. I don't mind. Seven. Surprise. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And eight is definitely up there, above seven. <laughs> above seven? Nine? Old people? Buy the car? Okay, I'll bring it down to one, two. You see, we're interested in the state of feeling or the state of mind. We're interested in what happened that brought it about. So would you agree what we're going to look at is eight? All right, there you are. All right, you're going back to the car. You look at the ring and it's changing colors. It's changing. So, would you tell us about the ring and go through the sequence as it changes color and it becomes blue? Um, it was a surprise. It was surprise? Uh-huh. More? It was beautiful. Be I, don't I don't know what that word means. What do you mean? Huh? <laughs> it was beautiful. I looked at it and I... It like was, what? Like what? I mean, before, should I just put the word cute down or is it different than cute?
cute. Well, it's beautiful. It's different than cute, yeah. Well, how much so? I don't know. How about so? You have to tell me. It's like what? Similar. Similar. It's like what? Like you'd what? Want to dive into. That's, that's kind of similar. Um, how? how? Dive into it how? Gosh. Beautiful, like it was cool. Thank you. More. More. If you were to dive into it, what do you think it would be like? Cool, beautiful. Just keep on, keep on. The way it was coming, it was like a fountain. It was like a fountain. It was like, right. Like a fountain flowing? Yeah, blue coming out. Like blue coming out? Like a fountain. Like a fountain? What kind of a fountain? Well, you know, there are a lot of fountains. I just wondered whether you had some experience with fountains, and you could tell me something about this one. You mean the water, the way it... The way the blue in the ring. The way it came out of the ring and... and it, was, it was coming out of the ring, but it was in the ring. Okay. And it was blue coming out like a fountain, like water comes out of a fountain. Yes. Yeah, that's why I'll put it, so I happen to be very good at drawing. All right, it's coming out of the ring. Yeah. And it wasn't ordinary blue, it was just a beautiful blue. It was what? It wasn't any ordinary blue color. Yeah, what would that be then? Just talk about it for a moment. Well, it wasn't blue, it wasn't aqua blue, it wasn't purple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where would one expect to find that kind of blue? See, because you told us something very interesting. You said it, it was like you wanted to dive into it, so it's inviting, isn't it? Right? Uh, I use the word inviting. What word would you use? Cool. Cool. Well, I mean, I, I don't... Cool. Do you mean temperature-wise? Now, I'm going to push you a couple of more steps in this, and you must watch and tell me what happens now, all right? Okay. All right. Was it just a little squirt? No, it was continuous. It was continuous. Did it cover a small area, therefore insignificant? It was contained in the rain. It was like I could see into the rain. You could see into the ring. Go ahead, more, I like that. And the ring became like... A All right, you could see into the ring. Right. And when you did that... The ring, instead of being silver and being solid, became like glass. You can see through it. And in it, you saw blue, color blue. Let's like see, look here. Um, uh, what we need is... Uh, Miss, would you volunteer? Good, 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 good. We have to film this, all right? Uh, we can use multimedia, we can use a lot of things, all right? And I'd like to see if we could kind of present that the way in which she experienced it in the dream. That's our goal, right? We've got to work together, all right? Okay. Now, 
Would you ask the same question I would ask, which might be, when you saw into the ring and saw that shower, um, how far did it go? How far did it reach? Was it something... Uh, go ahead. How far did it reach in this direction? Yeah, in any direction? It was contained by the shape of the ring. It was, the whole <laughs> fountain was contained by the ring. When I watch them, was there any awareness of anything other than the ring? No. So the only thing that was there was the ring. Right. Therefore, the that was the total object of consciousness, was right. the ring. Right. Wrong. The color blue, the color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So in that sense, there's nothing else but the ring. And you could, what was it like seeing into the ring? What was it like seeing into the ring? Well, it caught me off guard. I was surprised. I didn't. Uh, pleasantly? Yeah, pleasantly. Uh, how pleasant? It was a wow. Uh, a wow, like what? Like, how, how big should I make that exclamation point? Well, in the sense that it's unusual. Like, I know. I how big should I make that? Look, I'll, I'll show you what. See, I want to express how much of a wow. No, pretty big. What? Pretty big. Big wow. Big wow. Bigger than that, but... Thank you. Then would you mind now telling me what this was like, since it's a great big wow? Well, I was a surprise. I don't know what that I was. think you're quite right. It was very right. surprising. It was a gigantic wow, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. What? Oh, the it was a wow because I thought I just simply got a silver ring, and that's all there was to it was some weak figures. But when I looked at it, it I was unexpected. Yes. Yes, and it really had an impact on you, didn't it? Right. Right, right. And you found it that you could see into it. It was blue. It was the kind of blue that you could dive into. It was cool. Would you want to do it now, if you could do it? Would you want to do it tomorrow night at 8 o'clock? 8 o'clock in the morning? If there were other things competing with that, like having a, a cup of coffee. See, I'm now wanting to get the scale, you see. Uh, I'm now trying to, to see whether I can get you to tell me uh, what it's like in comparison with other experiences you've had. You've obviously have had experiences in life, and we could chart them, could we not? Uh, where would you chart this experience then, in terms of? Well, I would like I would liken it to um, I don't say it. Well, whisper it to your neighbor, and he can tell us. Being on mushrooms and looking at something. Being on alive. mushrooms, psychedelics, yeah. then it's a psychedelic experience. Oh. Oh. But there, among the psychedelic experiences, though, where would you put it? It was beautiful. What? It was beautiful. What I, I know. I put that down. I just beautiful. wondered among the among the psychedelic. It was when I was looking at a wall. And Like the wall was breathing, but not just breathing, but it was like, it was a being, it was caring. It was a caring, and I never felt that about, and it was like, if I, if I could just move my eye, I would miss it. If it was where I was focused, and it, I can't explain, it was just beautiful, and it was something that was caring. 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 Yes. Um. And it was living. And living. And breathing. 
and beautiful. That's what it reminded me of when I was looking at it. Like I couldn't tear myself away. Was... Couldn't tear yourself away means that you were fascinated by it? Yeah. Can I use that word? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Right? Fasc fascinated by it. You were absorbed by it. This was the kind of blue that had a breathing, caring, uh, living quality to it. That's an interesting set of qualities together, isn't it? Right? A fascinating, breathing, caring, living, emerging as you were seeing into the ring. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you for, for going along with this, but um, I still have that curious question of... Um, if this line now can represent all of the experiences you've had, whether it's on mushrooms or anything else, where would you rank it? At the top. At the top. Oh. So this is the topmost experience. And it told you what was within this simple ring. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Oh, could you go back for a moment and tell me, there you were in the dream, and you tried on the gold and the glass and the silver, and when you tried on the silver ones, you were aware of the Greek figures. Mm -hmm. What kind of figures? Could you, as best you can recall. But it wasn't a complete figure. It reminded, um, I think it had part of a lake. It, it was like a copy of something you'd see in a museum. Like Could you do it again? Could you use different words. It's like Greeks that you see in a museum. Like Greek, and there's the parts of those statues aren't all there. Mm -hmm. And this room was like a copy of one of those. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, people see old things in museums and things like that. Oh, yeah. um, um, I suspect you may have to tell us more about that figure. And then, you know, and then there's just a leg and a skirt. I don't have, it wasn't. Oh, so you, but you were able to identify it as Greek. Mm -hmm. Classic Greek? Yes. Do you remember what, if it was now, if it's in the dream, can you tell us what it was like when you were looking at the ring and you noticed it had Greek figures? That's another surprise, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right. And I presume that draw you t drew you towards it? Positively? Yes. Did it play a role in your decision? Yes. Mm. Now, um, why don't you just tell me a bit about the figure that you saw? Anything at all about it that comes to your mind? It was just a, was a leg, Go ahead. but it clearly had a classical form to it. And there were patterns like um, the Greek pattern that you said. It had, it had a Greek pattern to it? Oh. Oh. On the border, Greek patterns? Mm. Mm -hmm. It was just a leg with a sandal and it was part of the Pardon? What part of the clothing? What kind? That was a Greek, a cloak, or what did they call them? Citron? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, what was it about the leg? Because there is a curious feature about the way in which the Greeks portrayed legs with a fine line skillfully drawn to indicate muscle lineage. Was that there? It was defined, it was a male leg, it wasn't female. Yeah, okay. It was in motion. Great. I, therefore, it looked like what kind of figure? A figure that was in motion. Uh huh. Uh huh. And that surprised you that just that much of it, go ahead, even being able to identify that much of it surprised you? It wasn't a 
what surprised me was that there was so much detail and such a little rain. Oh. And then because there was detail. That so much could be on such a small right. ring. Ah. Right, right. Uh, 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 that indicated what? So much detail in a little ring. Artfully, mm -hmm. uh, like classic Greek art. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then, what would you say you found then in this shop that was closing out? An everyday ring. Well, you did find this this ring, right? You could have had the gold or the glass, you picked the silver. The silver surprised you because it had so much detail in just a little ring. You were recognized the Greek pattern in its design. You were surprised at it. You saw it as artfully done. Is that correct? Pardon me? Okay. I don't like gold and I don't like glass. Okay, so then you, all right, all of this then brought you to it? No. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. Now, now you discover you have no wallet. Right. Mm -hmm. And I was surprised. And you're tired. What? No, I was surprised. I Pardon me? Surprised. Oh, good, another one. Ha! <laughs> I really wanted to help this for a while, and I didn't want to not have Yes. Yes. Would you agree that appears in several places in this dream? What's right? That you wanted to help her out? Right. right. That, therefore, is an interesting theme, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right. We've identified a repeating theme. Mm -hmm. I wanted to help her out. It's a thing. Reappears. Reappeared here. Mm -hmm. right. And helping her out, you were benefited. Mm -hmm. Right? You found something that you have an interest in. Later it had all of those qualities you just mentioned. Yeah. So what was that state now you needed to get your wallet? Routine? Anxiety? What? Anything? You just went ahead and got it, right? Now, do you notice this theme that reappears again? It was not, if it were not for the girl, you wouldn't. I wouldn't be there, but I said it to like. I wouldn't be there. To let them know that she really was doing her job. Like she got me from, a, she was working at the party and she took me there. And I wouldn't be there buying all that stuff if it wasn't for her. Like it's to give her credit to say she was. Yeah, you're giving her credit. Right. That's the, another form of that theme, isn't it? Right. Mm -hmm. I wanted to help her out. If it weren't for her, I wouldn't. Right, it reappears, doesn't it? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's more like wanting to give someone value. Yes, I, yes, that's true. And by the way, did she help you get it or point it out to you? No, she didn't. 
No, she didn't. Yeah, yeah. It's something you had to discover that was there. Right. Yeah. yeah. Turned out to be quite interesting to you, and valuable to you, did it not? Yeah. Now I want to go back to the dream now, all right? Invite you to ponder something. Why didn't the dream just pick up right from stage six and forget everything that came before it as incidental and not central to the dream at all? She went into a shop, looked for things, found something, much to her surprise, is something that interested her from her own past. Right. She walks away with it, recognizes she doesn't have a wallet, runs back to get it, but as she's going back, she recognizes that this interesting ring now goes through a transformation and it becomes blue and it has all of these qualities that we just mentioned. So you see, you don't need this, therefore whatever created this dream did something unnecessary. So, Just throw, it out. throw it out. But, would you agree, however, that that theme reappears? If it weren't for the girl, I wouldn't be there. What kind of state of mind is there now in this statement? Grateful. grateful? More, more. Um, it was also said to help her out. I want, um, like, it's like giving, um, I don't know, somebody who works with the public a compliment to their boss or something. What, what, what? Do it again? Like complimenting someone who works with the public to their boss. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to follow this theme. We're going to follow this theme and see its earliest appearance. All right, would you do that for us? Okay. Where does it first come in? One by the top of the row. Um, I would say after, after the woman makes a comment about That's right. To be. Hmm. How do you account for that theme coming out of to be? <clears throat> Let's go back to your notes at that point, all right? Could you go back to the point where she told you where she works? Okay. Okay, she was telling me where the shop was located at where she worked. And this other person comes up. She was Caucasian. Sherlyn starts saying that her friend does cosmetology. And the other person looks at Sherlyn and says something under her breath like, please don't start because she's please don't start because she's going to start selling. And the other girl caught it or saw it. Nothing was said. Okay. What she caught was the remark was directed towards her skin color. Her yes. Yes. Yeah, some kind of racist remark or color remark, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But what what did that awaken you? What did that awaken in you? Wanting to give her worth. I wanted to help her out? To give her worth. Pardon me? To give her worth. To, make her feel to give her worth. Thank you. Right? To give her worth. Right? And that right, because of this to be, what happened? You'd like to give her worth, so then you follow, then that accounts, does it account for, go ahead, how would you put it? For taking an interest in where she works. For, for going on this journey with her, because you're on this, you're on a project to give her worth. Mm -hmm. Right? Because she was put down 
and now you're on this tour to try to help give, get her worth. Is that right? Yeah. Did you succeed? I don't know. It's a failure then. No, I think it's neutral. It doesn't oh, okay. Neutral. You don't know. Yeah. Then you didn't give her worth. Whatever that means. No, I think it's inconclusive. Pardon? I think it's inconclusive. Thank I you. It's inconclusive. Right. You don't know whether it, I did it or not. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. So you can't say whether this was a failure or a success. Right. But one thing you know that it wasn't resolved within the dream. Right. 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 Yeah. yeah. It's rather puzzling, isn't it, what's going on? Is it puzzling to you or not? That, see, this is your goal in the dream, to give her worth. Why do we call it a goal? Because that's what then, can, you can use that to understand what's going on in the dream as a motive force it takes you through the dream, doesn't it? Right? Yeah. See, so look at five. I wanted to help her out. They were some cute things. They were interesting looking, and it would help her out, and uh, some I could use. So it reappears, right? You're still trying to give her worth. Mm -hmm. Is that giving her worth by buying something from her, by the way? Not by buying, but by saying that she brought me to the store and she had not brought me, I wouldn't have bought anything. Like she had made a sale or something like that. Yeah, do I look puzzled? Let's <laughs> <laughs> try my so darndest. <laughs> Let me try it again. <laughs> what? You wanted to wait, make her look a certain way to her employer. She got me here. To her employer, right? You wanted to make her look good in front of her boss, right? Right. So here's her boss, right? And here she is. And you want to help make her look good to him. Right. She's a good employee. Because she's a good employee. Right. And you're going to try to do something to make him see that she's a good employee. You're going to buy something. Right. Pardon me? So you're going to buy some stuff. Right. Yeah, yeah. Now, I want to see whether or not you could go along with this. It's a closeout sale. Does that strike you as curious? Yeah. Why is that? There's nothing I can do to help her out. There's <laughs> nothing you can do to help her out. But the motive still goes. Mm -hmm. Ah, by heaven, that's an interesting motive. Huh. So you're doing a lot to help her out. But, but what, what did you say again? Well, there's nothing I can do already. Nothing you can do. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, she doesn't direct you to this find. You did it yourself. Well, it was the only table that had stuff on there. That's true. Did she help you find the thing you... No, no, no. no. Oh. oh. So then, uh, who's responsible for you finding that? It was accidental, but I said it was truly accidental. Well, she didn't. She didn't help me. But when you found it, was it accidental that you liked it? No, it wasn't accidental. I liked no, it. no, because it had those qualities that you admired, so therefore you decided that it's going to be yours. Mm -hmm. Is that random? No. No. Then did you choose? Then did you choose? The choosing isn't random, but my coming upon it was random. That's okay. But you did choose it. Who's responsible for that then? Me. You are. Oh. Watch now. Did I don't know this word? I better look at it before you do anything with it. Worth. Uh, could you play with this for a moment? This expression to give her worth.
And you meant by that that she'd look good in the eyes of her employer. Is that right? Is that the sense? Oh, okay. To make her feel good about herself. I mean, that woman's comment was. Hmm? No, the comment about her was just cutting someone's head off. Yes, true. And you wanted to make her feel good because she, as it were, lost her head, as it were. Someone slashed her, as it were, metaphorically. Yes, yes. So you're now going to try to make her feel good. Yeah, yeah. Did you end up feeling good? Well, then, you were interested in trying to get her to feel good, and uh, what happened to you? Uh, felt good? Well, yes, it's beautiful to look at. Shall we go back over it? It was the most, it was the most, it was the most intense and most uh, beautiful experience you've ever had. What? Pardon me? Pardon me? I wanted to continue looking at it. You wanted to continue in that state. Right. Right? You wanted to continue in that state. I wasn't aware of myself. I wasn't aware of myself. There was no image. There was no self. Right. No self. Yet, beauty right. bathed in a blue light that comes out of this ring from the Greek figures. Right. In that ring. Right. And it, the quality of the blue had a breathing, caring, living. You wanted to stay in that state. There was no self. And therefore, how would you describe that besides being fascinated? Well, would you say that was any good? Yes, it was good. Thank you. What it was it? Good. Thank you. Good. 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 So, uh, you wanted to make her feel good about herself. And what did you end up doing? Found a way to make yourself feel good? And to be in a state that you were willing to call good? I would say I was in a good state. I don't, I don't want to say I made myself feel good. I wasn't aware of feeling good in that state. It was because just, it was just good. Yeah, it was just good. Thank you. It was just being. It was just good. Mm -hmm. Right. It was just pure good. All right, I'll take pure out. <laughs> it was just good. I won't put anything more in there. You would then say you reached the state of good. Shall I put the word just in there again? Something then brought you to that state, didn't it? Would you agree you were trying to bring her to, to, to make her feel good about herself? And what's the difference between these two parts then? What's the difference between these two parts? The way I went about trying to make her feel good, I don't think was the right way. Hmm. And, uh, for yourself, had you look, what's caught your attention and got you into that object is that you saw in that ring the Greek design and the Greek figure, and that attracted you, and that was yours, right? So that's what brought you into that. Without that, you wouldn't have been brought in. So what's your background that brought you into that? See. To make her feel good about herself, you did something. For you to get to the good, you had to appreciate that design and the pattern and the figure, or you would never would have gotten there, would you? Is that right? Yes. Ah. 
Hmm. Are we now able to talk about a division of this dream in two stages and see a dynamic in one and a dynamic in the other? Well then, look here. Why is the dream coming with this rather <clears throat> interesting thing? Because In a way, we can see that your attraction for it set this up. Your interest in Greek figurines, the Greek design, you found it in a way to identify with it and, and pursue it. Fine. Until finally it developed into this very lofty experience, did it not? Yeah, 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 yeah. Say, when you were trying to help her, uh, were you getting her into Greek? design and uh, Greek thought and figures or no. how were you doing it? I was trying to buy taking her mind off of, of that insult. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Say, you know, I'm going to go right here to 2B now, am I not? Right. And that's the place where she received that insult mm -hmm. and she caught it and it had that effect on you. Mm -hmm. right. What's that like when you hear that, when you saw that, when you experienced that in the dream? Well, it's like a moment from that. Okay, you said she that. Saw be... it. I saw that she saw it, nothing was said. Did you see what it did to her or were you just able to see that it it was like a wound to you. It was a wound to her because, like I said, she was bubbly, and like good. I said, it was like all the bubbly just went. Like, oh, oh, good. She lost all that bubbly, right? Yeah. Okay. That's real good, right? She lost all of it. <clears throat> wow. Right. Right. She lost that open bubble in it at two B. Right. Yeah. And open and bubbly is a high state. What? So like a fountain. Open. Is it like this? Open. Open. Uh, is it the same it's as this? It's the same level, but it's bubbling. Yeah, yeah, she's a bubble. Right, right she's bubbling over. Mm -hmm. right. Same image here, but this is profound, and this is what? It's good, but it's not. It's not the good. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, you have that state now when you saw that and experienced it in front of you? It was like a wound. Do you have that? Hmm? Yes. It's sad. It's sad. It's like a wound. Talk more about it. Sad. Like a wound. It's like watching someone get crushed. Pardon me? Watching someone get crushed. Crushed. Watching someone get crushed. Right? Watching them getting crushed. Right. More. Yeah, you felt it, right, right. It, boom, all right, good. Good. Say, um, when did you have this dream? This morning. When? This morning. Uh, did you experience something like that recently? Recently, but not recently. Oh. Oh. And uh, what did you do with it? to make this other person I knew feel good. Oh, it picked up the drama from yesterday. Were you successful? It wasn't yesterday. Well, I mean, but. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did, were you successful in your effort? I don't know. I don't know. Same thing. You don't know whether it was or it wasn't. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, you do know, though, what got you into this. Does it take a certain cultivation? Oh, were you introducing Miss Bubbly to that? No, because I don't, it wasn't. She wasn't the type. <laughs> well, then would you say what you're doing is as fruitful as this? No, it's not, but 
Well, what do you, what would you call this then? I think the question is, how do you get someone to that stage that into that sort of thing? Oh. You, know, you can't just say. Did you deal with the person who made the cut or the no. person who was cut? The person who was cut. Who needs to be treated? The person, both. The person who said it and. Oh, you should direct your effort where then? To both. To both. Primarily the one that said it in front of the one that was. Right, 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 right. But you, you know, uh, you, it was as if you saw someone crushed right in front of you, right? And you identified with that, it hurt you. Um, and then in the dream and in, your, and in your life, you've experienced the same kind of thing. Um, so let's see now, what are the alternatives? We have the alternative of either responding to the insulter, right? Responding to the person who did it, right? Responding to the person who insulted, right? And wounded, right? Uh, you could then bring Miss Bubble into a higher bubble, right? But you said she was the wrong type. Is that correct? And, uh, Do you have a, a long history of this? Trying to make someone feel good when they've been wounded or crushed? Has that played a role in your life? Okay, but it did occur recently. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyone ever do that at home? Crush someone or feel Crush someone like that? Insult them? Snide remark like that? Yeah. Oh, who? My cousin, my mother. Oh, 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 then you're familiar with, with this game. Yeah. Ah, ah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now, what we've been doing is playing with the analogy to what might it correspond, right? And you found that there is something similar in your waking experience and also way back to your own home life, right? That seeking reference to the images in the dream, especially the key ones. Now, we're now pushing, you see, why we're pushing this, this quest for meaning. That's what we're after, this quest for meaning. Uh, did, by, by that you mean what dreaming? Yeah, 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 yeah. And we're playing it against one part against the other, aren't we? We're taking it structurally now, going back and saying, hey, you can see there's a relationship between these two. Similar dynamics are going on in these two. And one is successful, one isn't. Right? One involves you in a lot of activities, but the interesting thing about it is that this allowed you, in terms of the dream, if it weren't for what she got involved in and how you responded, you wouldn't be there. So it's not a negative, is it? It's not a negative. It helped you get there. Yeah. Uh, though you would, you agree, though, perhaps you were giving her more credit, right? And under deflating your own interests. Yeah, yeah. Well, then. Uh, what do you think this might do the next time someone gets insulted like that in front of you? Something, yeah. The chances are increasing that you might in fact respond. Mm -hmm. Might you not? Yes. That's its application. Now, if this can be said, then what can we say about dreams? What are they doing? What is this doing? It's showing me that the way I'm functioning is not helping someone. Or that's helping someone mm -hmm. That there are two ways of dealing with getting to someone to see something that's good. Yes. Right? Then, See?
Since that event, what day could you say the event was in your, in your waking world where you saw that take place? So, I'll tell you why. All right? Just give me a day. What do you think it might be? Okay, look here. Ten days. How did that event ten days ago affect you? Did you ever think about it in the ten days? Not all ten days. Hmm? Not all ten days. I didn't think about it every single day for ten days. But you have thought about it. Yes. And what happened when you thought about it? New level now. We're pushing it on a new level. Okay. When you thought about it, all right? Uh, what came to your mind? Um, unfair. It was unfair. And what did it do? Yes, unfair, unjust, yeah. And uh, and then what? Anger. Anger? More? And therefore, was there any action in what you were thinking about? You were angry. Yes, I then proceeded to, that I would take this girl out to a movie. So then you had a certain kind of plan, right. right? Take her out. Right? Go ahead. And? Did it have any thought about the person who insulted her or, or wounded her? Well, I had thoughts about it. What kind of thoughts? Give her a center a dozen roses? <laughs> what? It was more, how can you adopt someone? What? Your, it was more reasoning in my mind. I wasn't. I don't. I don't mind. How can what? you adopt someone in your family, but not treat them as though they're part of your family? So then, what would you be doing with them in your mind? Come on. Um, reasoning out. What? Reasoning out. Right. You were occupied then with this as a drama in your mind. Right and making certain kind of plans on how to take the other girl out. Right. Right. So it involved you, didn't it? Psychically, it involved you. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of energy is going on. I say a lot. Well, okay, just a thought of some energy. <laughs> and anger is sometimes called energy. Yeah, but it's anger for a short period, not for extended 10 days. I for however long it was, was there a little energy going along the way? I, okay. But there was some energy going on for 10 days in spurts. Not for 10 days. For one third of the 10 days, whenever it occurred. Whenever it occurred, there was some energy, yes. Thank you. Whenever it occurred. No. Are you dividing the intensity of when it occurred over 10 days? No, it did not occur every day for 10 days. Well, <laughs> well you see. Periodically. Periodically for 10 days. That's all right. Periodically it occupied you. Right. And when did you have this dream? Uh, this morning. This morning. Ah. Mm. ah. By the way, is any part of this you experienced yesterday? Oh, a little bit. You mean someone insulted someone a little bit? No, no, no. Um, I decided to do something to make her feel better. <laughs> oh, then yesterday you were trying to play out the plan. Right. Ah. Oh. You see, this involves in a certain activity, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, my time. It's my time. Out. It's your time. It's your life being spent, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And so you planned it. And so what happened? But you planned it, you talked to her? Yes. Oh, you're planning it? Ah, uh, oh. so last night you had a dream that said, hey, want to take a look at what you're doing? Are you still going to do it? Yes. I might have a different talk. <laughs> yeah, you're going to do it because that will make her feel good. And will cure the wound, won't it? That was the intention, but I'm thinking I'll still do it, but we'll have a different kind of talk. 
Oh, now you might have a different kind of talk? <laughs> well, what kind of different kind of talk will you have? Application of a dream. Go ahead. Um, you to ask her what she thought about what just happened to her. How her say how she was treated. Um, the effect. I suppose you find out it didn't make any difference. Oh, I made a difference. Good. Okay, is it likely then you might then engage her in a talk? Yes. Would you share her with her this dream? She's 10 years old. <laughs> what? She's 10 years old. I don't... Oh, that's yeah. lovely. She's 10. That's, that's why she could be talked to. That's the right time to talk to a girl, 10. By 12, they're really in a great place. After that, I don't know. Right? No, no. Couldn't you talk to her about it? Okay, fine and fair, 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 fair. But then, uh, would you say then talking about this dream may in fact affect you tomorrow and your relations with her? Definitely. Then what is the dream doing? Now watch now. Notice now we have a different dynamic and this is the dynamic I want to talk about, right? You see, there is an event in the real life. The event awakens an old image. The image has a role. <clears throat> it plays out a drama. That's a fantasy. That's a fantasy. That's a fantasy. Can you repeat that, please? Yeah. There is an event that took place. She was insulted, hurt, wounded. Later, had these thoughts about it, about what to do, what to plan. That's a fantasy. It's, quite a fantasy. it's all a fantasy because it's not real. It's not going to make her feel good. And if she does feel good, it won't be because that you did something about the wound. No matter how meaningful your relationship is with the girl, it isn't going to cure the original insult, is it? Therefore, it's not, going to help. It's, it, it's not related to the event which it is presumably intended to cure. Nothing is said. It's a fantasy. Because the shop is still going to close. Okay. Okay. Right. Now, a fantasy is always the condition for the dream. This is your waking world. <coughs> something occurs. Something occurs. If you, were, if you respond, if it awakens an old image, that old image has its own role built into it. It has a drama to unfold within it. It is, from this point on, fated, determined. Fated, determined. Fixed. When you saw yourself here, right. judging her, judging it as unfair, angered, right. you couldn't believe it. Right. That's a myth. That's an image of it. Why is that an image? Well, because why? why it? It was Pardon me. Why couldn't you believe it? That's what goes on every day in the world. Why couldn't you believe it? What's there unbelievable about it? Well, that part may be an image, but fine, fine. Image. What, what were you angered about? Should it evoke your anger? Yes. Why? What, how can you adopt someone in your family and not treat them like they're part of your family? What are you doing? Oh, how can you ad adopt someone into your family? This child was being adopted yes. into the family, and therefore, isn't this a way of introducing them into the family? This is the <laughs> Isn't this a way of introducing them to the family? <laughs> Thank you. Isn't this the way they're introducing them to the family? But that's, a, that's not how I'm using the word when I say, how can you bring someone in your family and treat them as part of your family? 
But aren't they, aren't they introducing her to the family? Idea what it means Is she going to get it more and more in that family? Did you mention a short while ago that your sisters, cousins, mother do this? So what did you see taking place? It's unfair. It's this unfair. injustice that goes on. Therefore, with whom should you have the discussion? With the person that did it. With the family. Yeah. Right. Why do we do this to one another? Mm -hmm. ah, ah. Is that the dialogue you had and the image you had in your mind? Right. It's different. Yeah, okay. Would you agree this is a certain kind of plan? Will it deal with the problem? No, not my plan. Okay. Then you could see yourself, though, doing this. Mm -hmm. That's an image. That's a fantasy. The fantasy is an image of myself doing that. Yeah, because, and, it's on, and it won't get the, the goal, won't be achieved. Mm -hmm. Right. It creates an image, a role, plays out a drama. It's fixed and determined. That's right. Mm -hmm. a defender, a defender. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Then, if that's the case, what is the dream doing? How is the dream relating to this? It's correcting the uh, old image. It's uh, showing the dysfunctionality of the dynamics that comes out of that old image. That's true. There's no resolution of that sort. Of there's no resolution to it. What else? It doesn't resolve. Well, because when she said the comment was racist and she added that later, I mean, there that's what she thought that it was racist, but there was actually nothing said in the dream. It was about selling. So could that like you're saying it's um if it's her drama, is she maybe reading into it? Because in the actual dream there was no racism really discussed. It was, oh, she's going to start selling. Maybe that person really did mean, you know, she's okay. kind of okay. strong. And, you know. Yeah, hold that. Now watch. Hold that. Look. Is the dream just correcting that event? Or is it going beyond it? It's going beyond it going beyond it and treating it on the highest level of how you, how you can get in the good. Does it merely correct? Or is it going beyond merely correcting? And offer a higher reality where all of the terms are being now used in a much more honorific and higher sense. Now, can you pull it together? How is the dream functioning in respect? See, man, man is between a fantasy and a dream. That's our condition. The fantasy is irrational. All fantasies are in principle irrational, and we're going to go into that for a variety of very simple and interesting reasons. The dream is rational. It's exactly the opposite of common sense. A dream presents a higher rationality, the fantasy irrationality. We are guided by our irrational fantasies. We have to get in touch with our dreams. Our dreams present us with the conditions and, and the keys to our growth and development, and even gives it to us like in that experience. In this dream, also, though, if we took the dream as just describing what's going on, so she can take her own opinion with it, in that second part of the dream, when she does drop it, apparently drop this uh, wanting to help and this plan, she gets the good for herself. Yes, that's right. I mean, it's, it's no longer doing it for herself. someone else. Yes. Absolutely. Right. 
Yeah, and changes what the good is, doesn't it? You know, this other effort yeah. doesn't get resolved or doesn't, mm -hmm. you know, it's just there. Yeah. Yeah. It's repeated. The uh, surprises I found interesting because mm -hmm. that's repeated through the She's surprised yes. by the store. Yes. She says the store is not at all what she thought it would be. That's right. Although she didn't say it was a surprise. That right. was a surprise too. Now, uh, we could go. Yes. No, we could go back into the stream and for every image, image is something that you can draw. That's what I'm calling an image, right? right. Sometimes call them signs. Every one of these can be drawn back and seen back to their particular roots in a particular person's background. Now, by the way, does that mean that whatever is responsible for the dream is pretty alert? Pretty alert to ourselves? Yes. Helping? Yes. Would you like to have a colleague like that? Oh. You've got one. An ally. An ally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, just a loose end. Uh, how would you approach the whole folks standing by the car? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Worn out traditions. Oh. Oh. I, I have all kinds of things, so I'm just wondering mm -hmm. how probably would approach that in oh, the yeah. yeah. after you go through all this work. I saw them on the way to my car when my hair flew out. I think I got embarrassed momentarily and took the hair back and kept running. But it was just saying that I don't recall very much, so it's... Okay. You don't need to. Okay. Okay. Just say it again. Watch. Just say it I again. I saw them on the way to the car. And there's a point when my hair flew out. Remember that? That, that beautiful picture here? Yes. And I felt like a little embarrassed and I tucked, quickly tucked it back and I kept running. You what? Felt a little embarrassed. And then what did you do? Quickly tucked the hair under the hat and kept running. Tucked it in the hat? Right. Tucked it. Touched it? it? Tucked. Tucked. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> under their hat. Right, 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 right. Ah, oh, look here, then you need a hat. That's what's wrong with the picture. And then, uh, how was it after that? It's fine. Ah, oh. I think that's interesting. Okay. Now, you have two things going on then, don't you? You have the hair, the hat, and the old people lining up and something. And a little embarrassment in front of them. Oh, what? That's embarrassing too, remember, being present at when the other party is being insulted? We have a nice contrast now we can explore. Okay, but are you okay? How would you describe that moment? Like my hair is a mess. Talk about that expression, the way you said it. Like something out of place. Everything was neat and then came loose. And what did it do to you? I felt a little embarrassed. That was after this experience, or before it. After which experience? Ah, uh, the fountain of light. Yeah, it would be important. Yeah. No. But you took care of it, didn't you? Yeah. Right, right. You took care of it. Yes. Yeah, it's nice. Right, right. And therefore you settled that? Yeah, I guess. I don't know, it's your dream. My hair is a mess, it's out of place, I tucked it in. Did that take care of it? I took care of it. Yeah. 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 What's it like when your hair is a mess? Go ahead, and uh, I can't, can't keep it down. It's hard to maintain. Okay, right. Can't keep it down. Can't maintain it. And this is a way of. Would, would that indicate it's in that condition? And now you tuck it in. I have to make sure of this, please. No, it was like I had it fixed. Part of it flew out. You had it fixed, and part of it flew out. So it wasn't. Right. So you took care of it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
uh, you're able to resolve that minor problem without anything. Right. See, um, this is different levels of problems and how you're dealing with them. And this is personal, and you tuck it away. Now, we might be able to spend more time on that, but I'd rather first now go to the people in line. Okay, talk about them now. Were they watching you? I felt that they were. Good. You felt that they were. I was embarrassed. Okay, they that's the source of the embarrassment, that they would, they would see you, right? Is that right? Right. But after you tucked it in, that ended the embarrassment. Hmm? I kept on running right past them. Mm -hmm. You went right past them. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's a little vignette. Uh, it was like they were all wearing the same uniform, and they were all standing in line. Mm. Yeah. Mm. This is worth, this is self worth again, because if she's embarrassed, she's lost her. Mm -hmm. and uh, she's seen herself, certainly. She's embarrassed. Louder. She, when she's embarrassed in the scene, even a little embarrassment, there's a, a, a self-image there, that, you know, due to herself. That's that duality, because later when she got the ring and the blue and the good and everything there, she very was very adamant that it was not dual. No self. No self at all. No image. And, and just before that, there is a self, there is a whole consciousness mm -hmm. of self, and she took care of it. See, that's, that, that can be called a kind of a fantasy in the dream, within the dream. Mm -hmm. An image of yourself being embarrassed because other people looking at you when your hair is messed up, mm -hmm. but you took care of it. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, let me blow the whistle and uh, okay. throw it open. Yeah. Oh, I'm it open. Okay. Um, it seems like that could also be a, an anticipation because the dream is suggesting to her a higher and better way of handling this family issue. It's also suggesting to her that she's had experiences that she has a domain of existence that's much higher than this family stuff anyhow. But if she, if you, in other words, it's not as, I mean, she's had this experience. She likened it to her mushroom experiences. So she's had similar, a very high range of experience. And it's suggesting that she, when she solves this problem, she's going to go to a higher level. It's like, because of the old people. I'm just trying to look at that, what the significance of the ages. Well, Why are they old? You, you projected that in the future. Yeah, or but, also the day pardon day. Me, But this is happening now. Mm -hmm. Now might be the future. Yeah, well, no, this, this has happened in her dream now. It's not a future event. It's, she's got it. She's had it in the dream. Um, wasn't the girl, the Filipino girl, wasn't she a cosmologist? Uh, she was in, uh, what I'm trying to get at, she was into beauty in some form. Well, I think the first description. And, and it was coming to an end. So is, is it possible that this dream is showing her um, that she can bring this girl in? She, this girl apparently has some appreciation for beauty. That apparently is coming to an end because this shop is closing up. Yeah. Is it... Am I pushing too far with that? No. See, whatever you think after the analysis, you can give it to the, the dreamer and ask them to judge it. It's their dream. That's my thought. Right. That's where. How, yeah. how do you proceed in? in uh, well, there were many. There are many ways. Uh, the easiest way is just to uh, uh, say. Um, what'd you say the girl was again? What did you say the girl was again? Cosmetologist. A what? Cosmetologist. Uh, what's that? Someone who's into making people. What? Someone who's into making people look beautiful. Or feel you know, I heard the word Yeah, please. I heard the word Hey, excuse me. We don't have anything in front of us. You said beautician, I said cosmetologist. It's not there? It's in your cosmetologist, it's not beautician. Yeah, you get a cosmetologist. Yeah, you get a cosmetologist. Yeah. What's the word again? Cosmetologist. Yeah. 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 Does that word mean anything too? Well, the only image that comes to mind is Barbara's definition of it with the Greek 
with the word cosmos. That's what popped into my head when I, when I was writing it down. Was what? That it popped, what happened, popped um, into your head? Barbara's, I remember talking about the word for cosmos is the word for the cosmology, it means to beautify. Yeah. That could be wrong, but yeah. it's always struck me, it was an interesting word. Because what might it mean as you were writing it down? What? what might it mean as you were writing it down? The cosmos? It goes with the word cosmos, which and what would to that mean? To, then? to make beautiful. Uh, oh, okay. Is there any other use of the word for cosmos too? Universe. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, yeah, the universe. <coughs> you see, you don't go by what you think. Right? You have to make sure it comes out of the dreamer. No. Uh, if you have that background, the, the, then, you, then it, you have to leave it open in, in every respect for everything that the dreamer has in their own background. And um, um, now, what that does to the dream, it may raise it another level. If it means universe, a cosmologist in that sense. I think or, it's a cosmologist, a cosmetologist. I know. Okay. But you picked up the word cosmos. Right? right? Mm -hmm. um, and I was responding to your point of what do you do with it? I'm saying you go back to the person. Yeah and you let them rethink it, and you hold your views back for a while, and see if they naturally go there, rather than offer them. So you can only offer just a little bit, and you have to be careful when you offer just a little bit. So she's, at least she's into beauty, and maybe whatever other associations there are with that word. Yeah. Um, would that mean something to you that she can then she's someone who can make people beautiful? Was that the thought you had? That's what a cosmetologist does. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just uh, and the person who can make people beautiful, you're trying to make them good. To feel good, right? That's interesting, right? That's another level. Where does it go? Uh, this is where I call it thin. You don't want to go too much beyond that because if the idea of cosmologist and cosmetologist are in any way fused, succeeding dreams will make it clear. They go in a series. This is a series. This will be in a series. So you don't have to worry about it, but just keep yourself open for it and watch it. Are all dreams in the series? Yeah. Yeah. Then they break and take on another series. This is in a series. What, what is it about the dream that makes you say it's in a series? Because it, the uh, lower part's unresolved. So, and uh, it looks like you have some work to do on that as we were going through it, it appeared that there may be some conflicts and it goes back to the family. So. I was thinking in terms of that work and that, that drama there and the insult that was Mm -hmm. Girl, didn't you describe her state of mind as ugly and, mm -hmm. and open? And when that insult came, it crushed her, crushed her. Mm -hmm. So um, it seems like that that insult also functioned to crush that ugly. Right. I said it pulled it like sucked it back in. Oh, so you leave those open, you leave as many open as you can and watch the next room. Thank you. Okay.